Welcome to Evolution. My name is Andre Lawrence, and this is my channel about electric car ownership from the perspective of a first time EV owner. Most modern cars today come with rear view cameras, and they're almost all plagued with the same problem in the winter when the roads are wet or when the roads are really dirty, is that the rear view camera ends up looking like this because of all that junk. Well, fortunately for Kia Nero owners, and not just the Nero EV, all Neros, there's a smart gentleman by the name of Eldar who invented a product called the Cam Wipe to fix the problem. If you want to see how it works and what it does, stick around, I'll show you in 10 seconds. There's a saying that necessity is the mother of all invention, and in this particular case, it is 100% accurate. Eldar Ibisovic, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, I apologize if I've made a mistake, he's in Europe and has a Kia Nero EV now, but previously had a Kia Nero plug-in hybrid, and was tired of the camera being dirty in the winter when it got snow packed on it, as well as in the summer when it rains it gets dirty. So he designed, 3D printed, and installed this little device to solve the problem. Now, it takes about five weeks for this to arrive once you've ordered it. I'll put a link to his website. It's camwipe.com. I'll put a link to that down below. And it takes about five weeks to arrive from Europe to North America, so be patient if you do order it. And let me show you exactly what it is. Now, I've got two versions here. One is a bristle brush version, and the other is a wiper blade version. Now, on the website, I looked very recently, only the bristle brush version is available to order, but quite honestly, I think this is the only version I would use because it's good for winter and summer and does quite a good job. So I'll set this one aside for now. Now this is the version 1.0, supposedly there's a version 2.0 that has a different side here that's a little sturdier, but uh, this one seems to be doing quite well. So how does this work? Well, the nice thing about the Kia Nero is that the rear wiper is right above the camera. What does that mean? it means that the location where the bolt is for the pivot of the wiper arm, the little plastic cover can be removed and this can be installed in its place. Let me show you a close up of what this looks like. Essentially, it's this little part that you see from the back of the car and you've got this, which replaces the original cover and it just clips on. Now the nice thing is that this simplistic device, but brilliant in its design, is on the wiper arm. When you actuate the rear wiper, it brushes the camera clean. It's brilliant. So super easy to install. Let me show you how that's done. You may be thinking this is a strange place for a wardrobe change, but that's because this segment is being filmed several days after what you just watched. And that's because I received this envelope in the mail uh, only a day or so ago with version 2.0 of the cam wipe that I had just mentioned. Now I thought it was worth showing the differences as well as giving you some information that I received in an email from Eldar. So let me get the new 2.0 cam wipe out, show you what it looks like. And also let you know that this particular one, which is the wiper blade version, is not going to be sold anymore. It's no longer on his website, like I just mentioned in the previous segment. Because after testing both the bristle and the wiper one extensively, Eldar decided that this one is perfect for winter and summer. And this one is good, but why sell two when you can only sell one and slimline production? So 1.0 versus 2.0. What are the biggest differences? Well, the first thing that you'll notice when you order yours is that you'll now receive one with this little plastic retention clip in it. And the reason that this is included is to prevent breaking it in shipping. Now, some people ordered them and received the plastic portion here broken in because without this to hold it together, it's a little bit flexible and put enough pressure and it will snap. So this 3D printed clip, let me show you what that looks like and how it fits in there is what prevents this from getting crushed. I'll take that back out and show you both versions side by side. The top one is the CamWipe 2.0. The bottom one is the 1.0. Let me show you these two side by side. The top one has CamWipe written on it. The bottom one does not. So 1.0 is just a flat surface. And there's also a difference in the material that was used. The plastic that was used to print the new version is a little bit more of a charcoal-y kind of gray. And I think it'll match the wiper arm a little bit better than version 1.0. Other than that, the bristle portion and the head portion are pretty much identical. There's one little other difference that I noticed and that's on the inside of where the bolt rests for the wiper arm. In version 1.0, it's got a little horizontal ridge, and in version 2.0, it's got a vertical ridge, and let me show you what those look like. So this one has the vertical ridge, 
This one has the horizontal one. And I'm guessing that that was changed for a valid reason. I have no idea why, but I'm guessing that 2.0 is better. And this is the one that I'll be installing for permanent use. The segment you're about to see shows me installing version 1.0 but then I'll show you how to install 2.0, which is pretty much identical. Installing the cam wipe version 1.0 or 2.0 is quite simple. Essentially, the cam wipe will replace this little cover here, which covers the bolt that holds the wiper arm in place. To remove the cover, it's just a question of prying up from the back portion, tilting it, and then pulling aside both sides to remove the cover. Once you've taken that off, grab your cam wipe and do the reverse. It's as easy as that. Now I'll show you how to take it off and I'll install version 2.0. Now, like I mentioned previously, is that version 2.0 has this little plastic insert, which you need to remove first. So you take that out and then take the cam wipe and do exactly the same thing. And that's it. And you can tell from the tube being installed, CamWipe 2.0 has a plastic that is a little bit more gray than the wiper arm itself, but that's fine. I, I really don't mind either way. It's still uh, good. And the functionality that I'll show you in two seconds is, is really great. It passes right on the camera lens and the little bristles clean off any dirt or water that's on there. And it's quite efficient. Let me show you how that works. If you own a Kia Nero, regardless of whether it's electric or not, you don't like the rear camera being dirty and not being very useful when it is, then head over to camwipe.com. I'll put a link in the description below and pick up one of these little wiper brushes. It's a fantastic little product that's easy to install and solves the problem. If you saw my last two videos, I had a personal goal of 3,000 subscribers and the electric car community pulled together in a huge way. In the space of about one month, I gained 1,200 subscribers and for a small channel like mine, that is phenomenal. I wanted to say a huge thank you to every single one of you that clicked that subscribe button. I've given myself a new personal goal of 5,000 subscribers with an ultimate goal of reaching 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. It really makes me happy when you click that subscribe button because it shows me you like what I do. And if you like this video at the end, click the thumbs up button. And there's always some bloopers as well that I stick at the end that a whole bunch of you seem to enjoy. I don't mind making fun of myself, but there you go. You don't necessarily know that I have an Instagram account. You can see some behind the scenes pictures as well as some EV and non EV related stuff. I also have my Evolution Facebook page that you can check out and ask me questions by message there. I also have links to stuff that I post. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future videos, you can put them in the comments section below. And I do have some French viewers from the province of Quebec. So I'm just going to give them a quick little shout out saying that they can ask me their questions in French because that seemed to work in my last one. So here we go. Donc, si vous êtes un francophone et vous ne comprenez pas l'ensemble de ce que j'ai dit dans ma vidéo, mais n'hésitez pas à me poser vos questions en français dans la section des commentaires ici ou sur ma page Facebook. Ça va me faire plaisir de vous répondre en français. And once again, thanks for watching. In my last two videos, I had a Hello. In my last two videos, I had a personal subscriber goal of 3000, well, you know, personal goal of 3000 subscribers. Come on, André. In my last two videos, I had a personal subscriber goal of 3,000. Well, no. In my last two videos, I had a personal goal of 3,000 subscribers, and the EV and yep. Installing either version of the cam wipe is quite simple. Essentially, the cam wipe replaces this little cover that's here, and it's something that's quite simple to take off. You just lift this up like this. That's really good. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay.